All right, I know what you're thinking. There's no way a free smartphone app can come close to a several hundred dollar professional equipment, right? But take a look at this, guys. Both 3D models are unedited and were exported directly from those 3D scanning tools. Except that one of them was captured by a free 3D scan app and the other by a $600 3D scanner. So, which one is it? Yo guys, my name is Jack. In this video, we're gonna do a comparison between my RimoPoint Pop 3 3D scanner and a free 3D scan app, Kiri Engine. Um, I know it may seem like an unfair comparison, but believe it or not, the 3D scanning technologies today have evolved into something that's completely unimaginable before. But before we jump into the topic, guys, I need to clarify that I'm the CEO and co-founder of this tech startup called Kiri Innovations, and we are actually the creators of the 3D scanner app that we are going to be comparing today. So I know it's kind of inappropriate for me to make this kind of video, but after purchase this piece of hardware, I have a lot to say. And unfortunately, there's no other video on YouTube that talks about them. So. I created this video for your own information and reference purposes only. I may hold my own standpoint of view, but I will try to cover all the major pros and cons of both products. And I hope by the end of this video, you will get a deeper understanding of the technologies behind these two powerful tools and decide for yourself which one would actually suit your needs. So let's talk about the technologies. RevoPoint POP3 3D Scanner uses the Structured Light 3D Scanning Technique. It projects a grid of invisible lights onto the object surface and uses a camera to see the light pattern. And by calculating how much the light grid bends from its original form when projecting it on a curved surface, the 3D scanner will get the 3D geometry of that surface. As for Kiri Engine, it actually has more than one 3D scanning technique. But for the sake of this video, I'm only gonna use the free ones today, which are photogrammetry and LiDAR. Photogrammetry uses pure photos to turn objects into 3D models. It uses our cutting edge computer vision to recognize the features points on the object and turn those features points into high quality 3D models. While Kiri's photogrammetry is available on both iPhone and Android phones, the other free scanning techniques in Kiri Engine LiDAR scanning is only available on the iPhone Pro or iPad Pro models. But what's cool about it is that this LiDAR feature actually combines with photogrammetry. So it inherits the level of details from photogrammetry and uses LiDAR data to enhance the processing speed and improve user feedback. So, Having briefly learned how it works, let's put them to the field test. We are going to test on four objects, each representing a different scanning scenario. A white head statue that is perfect for structured light, but not so good for photogrammetry due to the lack of feature points. A random anime figurine that has a mixed color surface, which would be partially hard for structured light because of the dark sections a 1.5 inch miniature to see how the two technologies handle very small objects, and finally, my favorite baby group, which should be easy to scan for both products to show how would the best results from both products compete shoulder to shoulder. Let's start with RevoPoint. Using RevoPoint with a turntable is actually very easy. I like how you can easily pause the scan and flip the object to continue, so the scanner can scan the parts that were hidden in the original rotation. It took me about 2 minutes to scan in 3 rotations, and 8 more minutes for my computer to process the final 3D scan. I'm scanning with the color on, but if you don't need color texture, the processing time can be faster. And once it's done, you will get this perfect 3D scan with fine details. The Structured Light Scanner is really good at scanning white color surfaces. Now let's try the Kiri Engine. Using the Kiri Engine is also very easy. All you need to do is to take photos circling around an object, or better, there's also a turntable mode where you can just sit there and wait until the app takes enough photos. And then you upload those photos to the server and wait for about 10 minutes. But yep, 
like a guest because the white head statue doesn't have enough features points for photogrammetry, the scan from the Kiri engine isn't as gorgeous as the RemoPoint 3D scanner. So, the RemoPoint wins this round. Alright, up to the second object. When 3D scanning with RemoPoint, everything that is not black it captured the surface pretty well, but the black though, it just won't capture any bit of it. So the final result looked like this. Well, you can buy a special coating spray that can make scanning dark surfaces easier for structured light 3D scanners, but it's expensive and I mean, it's kind of cheating because if you apply the same spray on the white head statue that we previously tried, the photogrammetry result will just be better as well. But when scanning this with the Curie engine, because photogrammetry doesn't really care about the surface color, and this detail figuring has enough features points, the 2D scan result was much more complete. So I think Curie engine wins this round. And the next object can be interesting because RemoPoint claims that it's pretty good at scanning small objects, so I was very curious to see how much detail it can capture from this tiny miniature. But during the test, it seemed that it could capture one rotation alright, but it wouldn't stitch the second rotation, so I couldn't get a complete 3D scan. But even just for the one rotation result, Honestly, the surface wasn't as impressive as I thought it could be. But the Curie Engine, on the other hand, does a much better job. Because with Curie Engine, you can also upload local photos for photogrammetry. Many smartphones today have telephoto cameras. You can just use telephoto mode to take photos and upload them to the app. Even if this app is tiny, the final 2D scan surprisingly captured pretty much everything on it. And not to mention, it has great texture quality too. With the texture turned on, it looked just like the original Mini. So yeah, obviously, Curie Engine wins this round again. And for the last object to test, we have Baby Groot. This object should be fairly scannable for both products. For real point, the object itself doesn't have too many black parts, so the real point should be able to capture most of it, except the eyes. And honestly guys, the most frustrating thing that I found when using this 3D scanner was, if you look around, you realize there just aren't that many objects that don't have dark color parts. When scanning with real point, one thing that surprised me a bit was that not only could it not capture the transparent eyes, but also the bottom part of the eyebrows. So in the end, we have this baby group without eyes and eyebrows. But for the Curie engine, although photogrammetry also won't capture the transparent eyes, it still kind of gives me close geometry. This will save me tons of time if I want to 3D print the 3D model, because in 3D printing, I need the enclosure to be watertight. But I mean, look at the details of both 3D scans. Can you really tell the difference between a $600 3D scanner and a free 3D scanning app? One thing I haven't shown you though is the LiDAR scan in the Curie Engine. It's also a free feature, but man, the user feedback in this is just on another level. It's all thanks to the LiDAR sensor on the back of your iPhone, because with just photogrammetry, you need to upload the photos to our server for sufficient processing power but with the LiDAR sensor, we all of a sudden have real-time feedback. And the extra data provided by LiDAR is actually good enough for us to process the 3D scan locally on your phone. And the final result, a clean and decent 3D model for you at absolutely no cost. All right, let's put this comparison to a conclusion. It's true that a $600 3D scanner in general has a higher accuracy, but keep in mind that it's at the cost of not being able to make a complete scan if any part of the object has dark in color. On the other hand, a 3D scanning app like Curie Engine can scan objects regardless of their surface colors and will produce 3D models that are more complete and are watertight. But it won't do well if the objects themselves don't have enough features points. One thing that RevoPoint will absolutely win is the measurement and scale. 
because the 3D model from photogrammetry doesn't have a real-world scale, so you have to manually scale it on 3D software. So here you go. I hope this video brings you some level of value and insights because 3D scanning is in fast lane racing today. And the best way to keep up with the latest insights is to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video.